So we told you earlier on that we are going to be here with the Minister of Sports, Min Davis. We've seen her try to kick the ball around and she's already said she's not the best footballer. But what you guys wanted to find out is what does a sports minister actually do? Well, I think you've just seen today plays football really badly. Um, I always admire uh, people that look good on the pitch and make it look so easy. A very quick reminder I've had it. Actually, it's way more difficult and you've got to keep working at it. Day to day, I actually do the policy when it comes to sport across the UK. That's from school sport on your activity around PE, your after school clubs, our holidays and weekends, your access to facilities, how the governing bodies work with communities in terms of facilities and you get the access to try uh, sports, maybe progressing them as well. And also working across governments, so working with the health department, working with the education department, just making sure that all the messages and policies are joined up and we also get to go to some awesome events which is why we're here in Nice. I was uh, watching Bangladesh yesterday, England uh, playing in Wales and uh, I was at Porto with England uh, lads not going quite so well in the Nations League on Thursday so you've got to be there for the big events as well and link with the, the governments across uh, Europe and across the world about uh, making sure that our sport has got integrity, making sure that our sport is well perceived and making sure that we've got some of the best football in the world, well I think probably the best football, that people understand it and how we're supporting that as a government. Now it's really exciting with the World Cup, we've seen a build up in the UK, we're now here in France and we have nearly three million women and girls active playing football in the UK. Yeah. For you, how important is it for this momentum to carry on after the summer? It's really vital and if you're a young girl watching this, from five into your teens you're going to start to see a gap from how much you take part in sport as you go into your teens and maybe when you come back to exercise if you do drop out of it in your 20s or 30s so for me it's really important that you get a good uh, experience at school that you've got something that you enjoy maybe when you're going through changes in your life that body image or uh, you're busy doing exams that you want to continue maybe going to the gym doing yoga doing dance or something anything physically active uh, any physic activity Activity is really important. We've got the This Girl Can campaign because we know that women and girls are, are dropping out. But we are working with the FA and we are hoping that by 2021 we'll see more girls coming into football. This tournament's vital for that. And of course we've got the Euros coming to our shores uh, so we can put a great show on when it comes to our shores, making sure that there's a feeling that this game is equal and available for anyone to come and shine. I mean, you mentioned schools and something I'm really passionate about. I used to be a, a school teacher I'm actually a qualified head teacher and we know that over the years schools are slowly not making PE important. Yeah. Why is it important for schools to make this part of the curriculum and not something else that they have to do? Well I'm going to tell them it's important but more importantly across government we need to make sure that message is joined up and most head teachers you know know that getting outside, getting away from getting that physical exercise actually makes your exams and your results as a school for your community better but we need to make sure that it's measured and that it's checked and that all uh, school pupils get a good experience so we're doing the new school sport action plan that's with DfE and with health so that's education and health involved but, uh, but also more importantly Ofsted who obviously regulates schools from September they'll be looking at your cultural experience when it comes to schools and also around your activity so they're changing is coming in from September, uh, reflecting what the, the Department of Education wants. They want um, bold, brave, determined, risk-taking children, not dangerous, but knowing to give things a go and have the confidence to do it. And that's going to be backed up by Ofsted come September. You're great. Thank you so much for spending nice time. Nice to see you, Benny. Thank you. <laughs>